Welcome to our channel. Today we will be discussing an important topic related to metformin and its potential interaction with other substances. Metformin is widely prescribed to individuals with type 2 diabetes to help manage blood sugar levels effectively. However, metformin can cause a variety of mild and or severe side effects such as hypoglycemia, headache, diarrhea, and a severe condition known as lactic acidosis. Therefore, it is important to be aware of the things that can cause serious risk when combined with metformin. Join us as we explore the 10 things you should avoid when taking metformin. First on the list is alcohol. Drinking alcohol, especially excessive alcohol consumption, can increase the risk of lactic acidosis. It can also increase risk of low blood sugar. Therefore, it is best to avoid or limit alcohol consumption. Also, it's good to mention that alcohol consumption can cause liver disease, which can increase the risk of lactic acidosis. Number two is grapefruit. Even though more research in human is needed to assess the interaction between grapefruit and metformin, in a study that looked at the effects of grapefruit and metformin in rats found that rats that had both grapefruit juice and metformin had high amount of lactic production. Researchers suggested that grapefruit juice increased the accumulation of metformin in the liver which in turn increased lactic acid production. Therefore, to be safe, it is good idea to avoid consuming grapefruit and all grapefruit juice while taking metformin. The chemicals in grapefruit involved in this interaction are furoncumarin. Number three is contrast medium. Contrast dye such as iodine dye and metrizanide can interact with metformin. If you are undergoing any medical procedure involving the use of contrast dye, it is crucial to inform your healthcare provider about your metformin usage. Contrast dye decreases the renal clearance of metformin, causing an increase in metformin levels in your blood which can increase the risk of side effects including lactic acidosis. Number four is renolazine. This is a medication used to treat chest pain or angina. However, when taken together with metformin, renolazine has the potential to increase the level of metformin in your blood. As a result, it can increase the risk of side effects such as hypoglycemia and lactic acidosis. Number five is tafenoquine. This is a medication used to treat malaria. Tafenoquin can increase the level and effect of metformin, resulting in an increased risk of side effects. Number six is selegiline. This medication belongs to a group of drugs called monoamine oxidase inhibitors, and it is used for Parkinson's disease. It may increase the levels and effects of metformin, which can lead to hypoglycemia. Number seven is methozolamide and topiramate. These medications belong to a group of medications called carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, and they can increase the risk of lactic acidosis. Methazolamide is used to treat glaucoma, and topiramate is used to treat migraines and epilepsy. Number eight is certain antibiotics. Some antibiotics may increase the risk of metformin side effects such as ciprofloxacin. This is a minor interaction, but if you're taking another medication that has minor interaction, the effect can be cumulative. Number nine is ACE inhibitors. ACE inhibitors such as lisinopril and ramipril can increase the effects of metformin, which can lead to hypoglycemia. This is especially important because it is very common for patients to be on both lisinopril and metformin. It is a mild interaction but can have cumulative effect. Number 10 is cimetidine. This is a medication used to treat heartburn and can increase the level of metformin in your blood which can increase the risk of side effects including lactic acidosis. Another common question is should I take vitamin B12 while on metformin? Long-term use of metformin has been linked to vitamin B12 deficiency. It does this by interfering with absorption of vitamin B12 in the small intestines. Vitamin B12 deficiency can lead to irreversible neurological issues such as peripheral neuropathy, worsening memory, and depression. Your healthcare provider should monitor your B12 levels while taking metformin and advise if B12 supplementation is needed. Also, increasing your calcium intake can prevent metformin-induced vitamin B12 malabsorption. Thank you for watching our video on the 10 things you should avoid when taking metformin. It is crucial to be aware of this potential interaction to ensure your safety and effective diabetes management. Remember to always consult your healthcare provider and inform them about any medications, 
supplements or substances you are taking. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more informative health related videos. Until next time, stay healthy and remember health is the greatest wealth.